So let's see how we make this salivated hungry devil Joe into this little baby. And yes, he exists IRL. Hi everybody, my name is Elise Wong and today I'm going to share a little behind the scenes on how I made this little dinosaur. I'm a fan of Monster Hunter mostly because of the monster designs and I made the most fan art from Monster Hunter. I wanted to make a series of cute baby monster hunters or monster hunties if you will. I started with sculpting Devil Joe in Blender. If you've played the games, then you would know that one of Devil Joe's moves was to detach its own tail and eat it in order to heal itself. And that was the approach I took for this. I wanted to make the little baby figurines from the Monster Hunter stickers I made. It also ends up looking a little more baby-like as it's sucking on a bottle, which was perfect for the baby series. I started with a ball, which will be the head, then I scaled a section of it, which will be the snout. I cut an opening for the mouth. My process is to make rough, low-poly shapes of what my scalp will look like, to give it a foundation to later add on details. So I'll add in the limbs, etc. to make it as close to what I envision in the end, before turning everything into a higher poly. Using multiple meshes for what is the closest to the end product. For example, the limbs looking cylindrical, so I choose the cylinder mesh for those. Body looking round, so I choose UV sphere, etc. etc. Once I'm satisfied with everything, I will go to sculpt mode and make edit to the voxel size until I'm satisfied. This will increase the poly count to make things a little more detailed. Using the smooth tool to smoothen the blocky look to prepare the surface for some texture. Focusing on the head first, Devil Joe's mouth is just chock full of teeth. To do this, I use the snake hook, shortcut key K, to extrude the clay out. It kind of looks like a trap niche. Tra trap inch? It kind of looks like, like, it looks like a trap inch. Anyway, so continuing, I added the eyes and I joined the head to the neck as I proceeded with the horns all the way down to the body. I joined the other limbs with the body, smoothing it out as before, so the limbs look like it's part of the body instead of just stick-ons. Refining the little claws, then adding horns to the tail as well. So after they're done with the sculpting, I send it over to a friend to print it out. Then I forgot to record my painting process until halfway through. But here's some clips of me painting for content. This is me repainting the red on the tail to make it look like I'm painting this for the first time. Then I realize I still have horns to paint because Devil Joe has a lot of colored horns. So here is me authentically painting horns that was never colored before here. For this Devil Joe, I mostly use Vallejo and Army Painter War Paints. Here are the color codes and names for what I use for the colors. Hi everybody, this video is sponsored by me. Patreon is a monthly subscription where you can receive exclusive rewards. There are different tiers to choose from, from supporting me generally for the content I provide, to giving full-size image of my artwork, to me sending you a personalized wax seal letter, to STL files if you like to 3D print and paint your own sculptures. There's a 7-day free trial, so do check it out. Link is in the video description. So this is the little baby and they are available on my Etsy and Shopee online store if you'd like to go check that out. That's all for today and if you like my videos, it would help if you hit that like and subscribe button and share it to your friends who you might think might find it helpful. I'd like to thank my patrons over at Patreon for supporting me over the years and letting me do what I love. I share videos, tutorials, and photo references for free for artists to use, so if you'd like to support me, you can do so by pledging over at Patreon. You can also join my Discord server where I am trying to create a wholesome community and also get notified where I go live on Twitch. All links are down below in the video description. That's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!